What the Hales live stream here on Sunday Fun Day. We've got some special guests today. We've got we've got Grimes Fines down there. Look at that. And they're going to be sharing a lot of cool stuff with us here later. And then we also have, we've got George George. Look at that. If you haven't checked out George George's channel yet, George George has been doing some amazing Absolutely amazing unboxing videos. And there's no doubt you're going to want to see that for sure. And then That's Grimes Fines has been having some incredible stuff going on this week as well, unboxing too. And, and you're going to get to see all that. But before we get to that, we're going to have to, we're going to have to open with a song. Now, I know all of you are wondering, where's George? Well, George is right there in the screen. Wave, George. <laughs> So, but I've I've got George right here with me. Now, the George you all know and love, she's spending some time with her family, so that's pretty cool. She's got some really cool things going on. Her oldest son and her only son has actually been accepted in the National Guard, so that's pretty incredible. So, we've got the... Uh, he's got actually the first one in our family to join the military. Yeah, Joey is the first one to join the military, so that's going to be absolutely incredible. But uh, we've got we've got the George stunt double here. You know, when you watch any video, any movie, any the actors, the main actors, they always have a stunt double. Well, here we have we have George George. Wait, we got George George right there, but I've got the George, you know, the George George right here. I th I thought we should start. Just uh, getting the stunt double warmed up, I should probably sing a little love song. What do you guys think? Yes. You think that would work? I think it'll be fantastic. Let's do it. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see if she responds at all. All right. It goes a little something like this. Girl, I wanna see you smile. If only for a little while. Do you see her grinning at all? I we want to again. Never want the moments to end. I'll kiss you and I'll hold you tight. Stopping at every red light. Look deep in your eyes. For me, it's no surprise. I want to be by your side. Take you on a hails of a ride. Spend every day and night loving you just right. I think she's grinning. Do you see that? He's about to crack. He's going. Because, girl, I'm so in love with you. Don't know what I'm going to do. If you don't love me too, please say that you do. Girl, I want to see you smile, only for a little while, want to hear you laugh again, never want the moments to end, so in love with you, don't know what I'm gonna do, if you don't love me too, please say that you do. Do you hear it? That's my that's my stunt double, George. There you go. Did you get a kiss? I did. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Watch this. First time on camera. Here we go. Look, she's she's actually the arms are out for me. You see this, right? This is the very first time on camera. On what? Look at these lips, these puckered lips. Here we go. And whoa, oh, man, strawberry. Hey, do you know how much I'm second guessing life choices right now? In the last month, I've hung out with a dude singing to a large candy and a mannequin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 39 years old. Hey, the world is going automated, choices. so that, that's My definitely the trend. That's the weirdest thing. That's the absolute weirdest thing that you've come across when you've met an entire Egyptian family named George. <laughs> that, that can't be the weirdest. All right. So with no further ado, ado George, George, why don't you tell everybody what's been going on on your channel this week? Uh, well, we went to the unlucky or lucky unit number 13 with Jeremy, and we got a lot of good footage there. We're hoping to go back and actually finish it up. Uh, I'm finishing the unboxing that I have. Well, it's actually the untoting right now from uh, unit 365, which I bought for 65 bucks. I know it's a little late, and I'm kind of jumping around, but 
I only planned on dropping two videos a week. And then Jeremy called me and said, Hey, let's go make some videos up at my unit. So that's why we're going back and forth. And I've got a couple more videos coming out about that unit. That should be that's pretty exciting. And oh yeah. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, George, 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 how do they subscribe? Can you put a comment in the actual, in the chat? And I'm, can you let I'm them actually know new to this, so I, I'm not sure exactly how to, but I'm going to figure it out here in a second. He'll figure it out. Now, remember, you can actually, somebody just said, Jeremy, that's a, that's a Sour Patch Kid. It's, it's sweet, then sour. Yeah, but it tastes like strawberry. So uh, Mick Draper just sent, a buck ninety nine. Oh no, kiss on the George video. Okay, uh, Mick. Here we go. Here we go. Fist pump. Buck ninety nine for the super chat, and uh, on assume George video. Okay, so uh, apparently she's she's mentioning something there in regards to a kiss. Justin, what's been going on in your neck of the woods? Man, too much. So, uh, well, I guess we finally are wrapping up kind of uh, doing other people's catalogs. So the the Hailstorm uh, online auction is up right now, as most of you know. Uh, but anyway, if you haven't, if, if some of you moderators will go ahead and put that link in the comments, that'd be awesome. But so we've been working on your auction and then I finally got out like it's been two weeks since I bought a unit and I kind of got I feel like I got kind of weaseled out of, of a really good one i dropped a thousand dollars on i uh, had two safes in it a lock box a dirt bike but uh anyway uh it is what it is but then so i was rushing i got online and i was like we're getting a unit up we're getting videos up and uh because we hadn't released a storage unit video in two weeks and that's just like man that's what we do and so anyway we've been selling so much of other people's stuff uh, I just hadn't been out there. So anyway, it's exciting to get out there. And sure enough, I mean, I hit a Star Wars collection. Go to my channel, check that out. Uh, but it was a great uh, unit to be back out buying, I guess. That was an amazing unit, pulling all those Star Wars toys out of. Man. But, but I, I've got to, I, I really, I, I, I wish that's what I sent with you. Did you get any Star Wars stuff for me at all out of that 26-foot box truck that's up for auction? Well, the right here, look. Star Trek. No, it's Star Wars right here. There it is. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. What kind of figure? Oh, that's right. That came from the Boy Scout unit. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, no, we've got this Star Wars. We've got here. I'll kind of. It's kind of a mess in here, y'all. We just like we're running like three auctions out of this place at once. But this. Holy is cow! Hell, uh, but we we really pieced it out. But anyway. Uh, so I just made it really pretty behind me for uh, TV, but we've been moving so fast. Sometimes behind the scene ain't that pretty, but uh, the catalog's pretty. Go check out the catalog. Uh, pictures are all in a photo booth. It's great. I'll give you five dollars for everything. Five dollars, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I already, know, I already know where the auction is right now, and you're gonna have to go way, way higher than that. George, I, I have three thousand into just getting it to him. Oh so, wow! Yeah, we've got a. I we, can tell you, you're past that. So cost is uh, is, is is covered. Oh, we got we got cost covered already. I can tell you that. Yes, break yeah. in even. Break in well, even. Then another beautiful note that I could talk about on my channel is I got monetized yesterday. So I know. Congrats, you're soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You, you guys, the channels are killing it, man. Uh, some people have told me I'm breaking records. I'm just doing me. You're you're breaking all my records. I got a couple hundred of them at the warehouse if you want to come by and break them this week. <laughs> yeah, but let's be fair, man. I, you didn't have some big channel like y'all self, like helping a smaller channels like us. We, we've got it pretty sweet. You know, yeah, George. we sure do. We that. We yeah, got this, this wouldn't exist without Jeremy, that's for sure. What the hell? This would not exist. You know, I think we probably would have got there. I do believe that we give good content. Yeah, for sure. We're just we're just filming what we do every day. This is a, our, my channel is about our auction business. And so... Uh, Anyway, but we just have speed, like we've been expedited the process by having such wonderful help um, by George and Jeremy. It's been awesome. And it's not its not just that. It's the wonderful people that want to watch us. It's the fans, the people Amen. at home that you guys let us into your home every week. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Yeah. Are you guys just like me? You're just an absolute and total awe that people even watch. It's, like it's ridiculous. <laughs> I've, I've lived with myself for 30 years and I don't find myself that entertaining, but you guys do. So thank you. I can't even stand to hear my voice afterwards watching the video. Yeah. 
I've got it playing on every ho- every TV in my house, and I have it all on mute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you work so many hours in this business, and so uh, sometimes it's hard to like have friends and stuff, honestly. And so we've integrated yeah. YouTube into our business. And to me, like, that's why I premiere. I know some, you know, other channels don't do it, uh, and that's okay. I'd rather grow slower uh, and do a premiere every uh, video because I get to live – you know, chat with, with our, what we call our YouTube community. Yeah. yeah. It's almost a way we've like actually gotten to have friends because I know when they're missing and who's there and who's not. And, you know, I really have learned to care about these people. It's, so it's a family. Awesome. It truly feels like family. Cool. We it, were discussing really that just a minute ago about how it's cool that you get to do premieres because you like interacting with everybody. And actually on, on my end, I've made a lot more friends in the last few days that I didn't even know about. So here we go. Here comes the uh, onslaught of people who want to be friends with me. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I've got new relatives. Nice. Okay. So we're going to get into the Hailstorm auction. Before we do, we've got mail. Timothy, the butler. Oh, congratulations, here. Life After. He just messaged that he got uh, monetized too. Congratulations. Oh, did he really? Yeah. yeah. So we've got, uh, we do have some mail that we're going to go through. And I think actually one of the letters talks about some of that stuff, the family and community. So uh, do you guys remember the mail song? Do you know the mail song? I have heard. We got mail. Mail. There you go. Mail song is done. We actually, we got a few letters and then we're going to get into the actual uh we're going to get into the actual hailstorm auction. Okay. This letter comes from Myra Freeman in Florida and she sends a card. Look at that. The sweet smell of success. Oh. Smells like cinnamon. You smell that? Like smells candy. Like place, uh, Myra, or, or actually says Elaine. It's not Myra. It says Jeremy and George. Thank you for building this community of resellers. Thank you for restoring the love and thank you for being you. Myra Elaine. There we go. Myra, Myra thank you so much. She's one of my favorite people. people. Have you got you guys know Myra on your channels? Oh yeah. She's very supportive. She's always messaging me. Look at you two. You both know. Okay. We've got another one. Now, this letter, this is from, oh, I, actually, I can't tell you who this is from, but I need you both to answer this individual's question, okay? So this letter is actually anonymous, and it's it's asked to be remain anonymous, anonymous, unanimous, not unanimous, anonymous, right? Anonymous. 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 Okay. Uh, this individual who's anonymous says this, but I can't show you. Uh, basically, it says, I've seen, I've seen you and all of your cool finds on YouTube. Uh, I, I believe you make real money. And this is, this is great. I basically, this letter, says, I want my wife to commit to do this with me. Please don't share this publicly, but how can I convince her to do this with me? All right, George, George, you have just got into this. And I'm curious, how in the world have you gotten your significant other on board with this? Uh, I didn't have to. She was, she's geared to go always and forever. Uh, right now she is behind the scenes a lot. And eventually we will get get together on camera and start doing more videos for you guys. I'm getting a dirty look from across the room. Uh-oh. When you said she's going to be on camera? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I dare you to turn the camera around. Yeah, turn the camera yeah, around. <laughs> do it. Man. Do it. All, all the lights on this side. It's just a dark room over there. No, 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 come on. Let's break some records. Let's break some records at your house. Turn that camera around. I think you can see something <laughs> else getting broken. All right, Justin, how how how'd you get how'd you get your significant under other involved? Maybe I should let her answer that, but I'm afraid of the answer, to be honest. Oh, well, I think it's because I quit my job, first of all. And then... Uh, we, we, wanted, and so, we knew we wanted to do something, right? Because when you think about... If you both have nine to fives, like in Dallas, like traffic is usually, usually an hour there, hour back. So you add that in, and after you eat dinner, make dinner, 
like you really don't see your significant other. And I do believe that uh, gives into the high divorce rate in America. But we didn't we didn't we knew we wanted to work together. And I just had this passion that happens to be profitable. Um, if you can, you know, tame it. So, uh, anyway, so we were just on she was on board. She supports me, the you know, the entire time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we. Serious? Well, George, how'd you get on board? <laughs> oh, I liked it from the start, Jeremy. This is what I've always dreamed of doing. Oh, give me another one, baby. She has a cold today. She kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> there was some tongue in that one. I'm just saying. All right, we got one more. One more. I do, I do have to mention before you go any further that Sandra did point out that I need to change or I need to notify everybody that I did change the name of my channel from George Earth to Taking a Risk with How do you George Earth. R I Z K, as in zebra. So Z. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Jeremy, I do not mean to interrupt, but I have to point this out that not only did my wart in the auction get a bid, but somebody just admitted that they're the lead bidder in the wart. <laughs> for real. Did she, just do that? Yeah. she just admitted it. Somebody's that's trying to make a potion for Halloween. That's why. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. It's right here. It's up for grabs. Go, hey, somebody. Oh, God. Up. That's not so nasty. Hey, look at this. Uh, Mick <laughs> Draper actually made this. Oh, movie. cool. Wow, I'd pay for that. Uh, Mick Draper, actually, I, actually, what's Hoodie up to right now? He's just waiting to see who his new owner is. Oh, I know. What's the price up to? I haven't seen any of this. I stuff haven't yet. looked yet. I've been so busy because I, there's several bidders on it right now. I would like to be the new owner, hey, the former just, and new owner. Somebody get this guy the freaking uh, link so he can register. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so Mick Draper actually made this beautiful card as well. And so she's in the chat. We've got some posties there. It says, you are my sunshine and used post-it notes so you could use again, Mick. So beautiful card and then sent a little bit of a message says, thank you so much for the love and the support the last few months, being so ill, not being able to tell anyone. So to uh, other stuff that I shouldn't have went on to read, I should have read this first, <laughs> but um uh, basically, in a nutshell, Mick says your videos uh, with all the love, all the humor were were salve, salve to my soul. And so we appreciate it. She says she's sending love and prayers. Thank you so much, Mick. I know she watches all of the channels. So we, we just want to send that love right back to you. Thank yeah, you. For sure. We love the comments. I love hearing how I've made somebody's day or I've made them laugh and they needed a good laugh. That honestly, that means so much to me. It's crazy. And the bad comments too, when all the trolls get on there and say how much of an idiot we are, that's fun too. Man, that I've only had one so far. That's it? Just one that tells me my face looks stupid in my thumbnails, which is fine. I think my face looks stupid all the time. It's not just in the thumbnails. How dare they say that? <laughs> um, all of my trolls that are watching right now, please head over to Taking a Risk, R-I-Z-K, and make sure you troll on George George instead of Jeremy George. Bring it on, guys. I'm ready George for it. George I'm George so actually loves the trolling. All right, I so let's, let's get into this hailstorm auction because we got a pretty significant bet going with Pirate as far as who can make more money, Pirate's Booty or the Hailstorm Auction. What do we need to know? When does this end? How do we bid? What do you have? Is there anybody out there that wants to see something in the camera? Yeah, so if, if some of the admins would put the link in there, or, or Gina's doing it as well right now, just go to the link. You can pull it up in a separate window and kind of scroll around, maybe make it smaller. But if there's a particular item, uh, Jeremy can maybe pick some somebody or a few people, but we can't get out of control because uh, uh, I don't know if I can find everything. But, Thank uh, you, Robert. You're what? Right. Sorry, uh, I'm reading the chat as you guys are talking. Sorry. All right. So, yeah, if there's something you want to see, pull that catalog up. But that auction, the Hailstorm uh, online auction, ends this Thursday starting at 8 p.m. Central Time. But pull that catalog up right now. If you have a question, ask a question. Uh, and if it's real close, let's just say that. If it's real close, I'll, I'll go ahead and grab the item. So if you have a question, just put it in the comments. All right, so when does the actual auction end? Uh, uh, Thursday. This Thursday. This Thursday, starting at 8 p.m. It's a soft close, guys. So I know a lot of y'all do a lot of eBay, but the, our platform is, is what we call soft close. So if somebody goes in and tries to snipe it at the last second, it's going to add uh, how long? Five minutes. It adds five minutes to the clock to give people time to get back to it. So people literally have fought over items like 
for three, four hours at a time. So it's, you can't be sniping stuff. So uh, it's open, but it starts at 8 p.m. And so it depends on how much people are in there fighting. It could go two, three, four, five hours. You never know. Just because at the end bid, it'll just increase it, increase it, increase it. Yeah. So what a lot of what a lot of people don't see is is with online auction platform, um, most people don't bid until the last night. They go ahead and register. So what you're looking at is what I look at as a as an online auctioneer. I guess you could say now since we don't do anything with live, um, is that we just uh, we look at views and um, and how many that you have multiple bidders. Did I create competition? Is the question I ask. I never look at dollar signs until the night of closing. So I think it's going to be wild because I already know how many people are registered. Um, you didn't beat Pirate on the pre-register. You lost by like 19. But here's what we can do. He had a hundred and wait to be precise, it was 105.7 thousand viewers to his catalog. Now that we can beat, I think we can beat that. So what you need to do is just tell people, tell anyone. We ship nationwide. So if you see, if you know someone who collects things or looks for unique gifts, you know the holidays are right around the corner. Stop going to Target and buying this mass stuff. Get them something unique. Get them from something from what the hell's auction, right? Absolutely. Get a little piece of the hailstorm. So is there is there anybody out there that wants to see anything? Now we've seen your wart already, Justin. Is there another item that you think is going to generate some interest or that you see some interest that you can grow? Oh, yeah. Hey, just just uh, yeah. And you know what? I just have not had time to uh, do the uh, research, but y'all go ahead, look for some comments. I'm going to grab it real quick. I think I know where it is. I hope you didn't hurt yourself, Joel. I'm curious. I had this Star Trek, George George. Did you ever get into Star Trek or anything like that? No, I was. That was before my time, and you there was a lot of other things that came out that blocked that out for me. Really getting into it with those glasses, you weren't a Trekkie. No, these are these are prescription. Actually, whoa, he just turned into Superman right there. I watched Superman Returns last night. It's on Netflix now. Okay, so I I sent this. Um, I think I think he got it. The super cool. Oh, those are the night visions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'll tell. You, I, I sent the super cool neon Star Trek light. Oh, those I'm, are cool. There's pictures of it. We plugged it you in. You have it? it. Yeah, it's in the auction. Just go to the search bar, and if you remember something from an episode like the Star Trek, like go in there, put Star Trek, hit enter, and it'll pop up. And we plugged it in to show you that it's working. That thing is brand new in the box. It came from a unit I paid like $140. It was in the dark. There were no lights. I found a Highlander sword in there and all kinds of other African art stuff is just amazing. I yeah, love the actual movie. logo inside the neon has the sticker still on it. We didn't want to peel that off. Yep. So under, it's brand spanking new. For all those that keep asking about my channel, I am posting the link every once in a while. So definitely keep a keep an eye on the chat and you should see it pop up. And then thank you again for subbing. You guys are awesome. Bid high. And does, it, does it make a difference which side you flash? I don't know. Like this this side, west side? Oh, oh, with one hand. Man, I can't do it with this hand. Do it like this? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I can do this all day. <laughs> okay, so you got the night vision goggles, right? Man, when I pulled these things out of a box, a trunk, I don't know what. Uh, your trunks will be going in the, actually the Grimes Fine sale because we filmed those last. So they didn't make it in this one. Uh, and let's be honest, I don't think anybody's going to pay for shipping on those. Uh, so uh, lot 527, okay, are these uh, – they're Russian-made. Um, yep. And so uh, anyway, we put, we put any information, any numbers, serial numbers, model numbers, anything on any items, we try to get it in the descriptions to give you a chance to Google it. Okay. Um, so these are lot 527. I think these are already almost up to a hundred bucks or something, but th these would be one to watch, a fun one to watch for sure. Okay. Now that one came out of the unit. That was probably the first one that I was with George and the sheriff were there and there was potential stolen goods in the unit. And I think we paid, oh, infamous George, I know you're in the chat. Uh, did we pay 1700 for that maybe? And then we got all kinds of yep, Panthers. She said, she said, yes. like, but Dude, I, this, this lamp is so freaking killer y'all. Do you remember those from back in the day? Most of them were black. 
Hey, I've mm -hmm. sold a several of the black ones. I think we sold the black one for like 180 or 380, one of the two, but it was almost a couple hundred bucks. There's not a date on here. So, yeah, you're not probably you're not going to find a date probably on these. Uh, but that is probably 70s, I'm thinking. So, 60s, maybe late 60s, 70s is what I would guess. Yeah, that thing is cool. Very cool. And it's a lamp? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a well, what it was is called a TV lamp. Oh, so people would put those up on their yep. TVs. And this maker also made planners too. We've sold several of the planners as well. Very cool. They came they came in different sizes, George George. So there were smaller ones and bigger ones. Now, Justin, is that the small one or the big one? No, that's the bigger one. Yeah. Bigger one. It's freaking awesome too. It's in really, really good condition, y'all. Were you able to see what what she said, I can't even say it. it's too much of a tongue twister for me. What, what she said? Yeah. The date? No, there's no date on that. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't remember there being one. Is that a dinosaur egg behind you? Where? No. Oh, no, that's a signed football. Hold on. We had, oh. a, we had a request for this, and I, I emailed the guy back and told him that we were going to um, – Okay, uh, update this Monday when we got to the office. But after me and Jeremy talked, I was like, hey, let's just go up there. That way we have some items to show them. Uh, just be a better viewer experience. So anyway, we're here. Uh, there is no date on the back. Uh, no. Well, that might represent a bottom. Anyway, we're going to update. Her. Yeah. That looks more of a model number. I do not see a date and it was made in Taiwan. So there you go, buddy. Hey, we're going to take a picture of this and get that updated for you. Okay, other items that the viewers want to see. Like uh, well, here's the dinosaur egg, and somebody signed it. That's weird. Um, so 287, lot 287, you'll see uh, actually some signed uh, baseballs as well. I think we had a Whitey Ford, uh, a catfish. Uh, but go, yeah, so around 287, uh, lot 287 is where you'll find a lot of cool autographs. Now, now hold a second. Show that autograph again. George, George, who is that? It looks like Burt Reynolds to me. Guess again. <laughs> Burt Reynolds? What? Ben J. Kern? Guess again. I can't read cursive. It's an Ohio it? player. Number oh, 19. God. Hold on. Let me read the uh, chats real quick. Somebody knows. You're hey, younger than Hey, me. wait. Let's see who can find out the quickest. Go to the catalog right now, lot 287, and you can tell them. I think we figured it out. Bernie Kozar. There you go. I should have known that. That's 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 the man right there. That's our that's our Cleveland Browns boy. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of geeking out about this. Isn't that that's, awesome? a, that's a nice Woody? That's a really nice Woody. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah. There's that. But anyway, so this is like new in the box, man. How cool is that? Did you guys just hear George giggling at that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dale Abbott, you're spot on. It is Bernie Lozar. That is that what he said? Bernie Lozar? Yeah, but the L and the K are so close on the keyboard, he probably did it on purpose. <laughs> Somebody's calling for daddy. Hey, hey, here's one, Jeremy. Okay. Uh lot 59. Okay, lot 59. I think this lot's already up to 110 bucks, and it's gonna go way, way higher. But anyway, this was the books. It's a collection, okay? And here's the deal. Just because I put it as a collection doesn't mean that, like, I didn't think it was uh, worthy. It's like sometimes I think a collection should stay a collection, and uh, I'm going to market it as uh, as such. But, man, check this collection out of uh, old, like, Boy Scout stuff. And, guys, we're talking about stuff from the 40s, newer. Like, this is good, good collection. But uh, that lot, 50... 59. It's at 110 or 120 bucks right now, but I figured this one should, I figured this lot should go for five or 600 bucks. Oh, easy. Now, do you, did you figure out the history of all these patches and, and all that as you were going through things? Yeah, uh, I've, I've know a lot, pretty good amount about Boy Scout stuff just because I've sold it so much over probably the last five or six years. Uh, but what I can tell you is that, man, I got hackled in my uh, hell for review section because I'm not going to return it all to the, the boys that earned it. Oh yeah, they're the, yeah they'll yeah for sure. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing: um, those, if I remember correctly, those the the individual 
collected them and he went to the jamboree and all he was he was over in asia at the jamboree and if, if it's the same exact same exact collection the the man the individual actually passed away so there's nothing to return to anybody everything in the unit was then left to his son and his son defaulted on it and wanted absolutely nothing to do with it he wanted nothing, even if after offering, his son wanted nothing to do with any of it. The son was the heir. So, you know, they can hackle you, but the reality is, is they don't know what's been attempted already. And, and so why not give that beautiful collection to somebody who's going to honor it, respect it, and love it and display it? Hey man, that's what, that's part of, like, I do what I do is because I really like want to protect stuff like this. Yes. Uh, look at those blue eyes. Who remembers just them blue eyes, ET? Look, and it's still. Oh, hold on. What did you say? Ouch. <laughs> oh, I thought he had indigestion. I thought that's what that was. So he I said, think he was at Papa Louis, George, George. Yeah, but that's a 1982 toy, you know, like, and this was a lot of good memories to people. And like, this is the new antiques and collectibles, like, glass and milk glass and Fenton and dolls and all that other stuff. This is the new antiques, y'all. Do you know, do you, how you don't, you wouldn't remember what unit that come came from. I don't remember either. George, George, did you watch ET growing up? Yeah, I've seen it multiple times. You, instead of going on mute because the kids are loud in the background. Can you tell everybody the Papa Louie story? <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to go eat at this restaurant. That's literally right up the it's short walk from that unit 13 that we went to and uh, everything looked so good on the menu. It was a nice extended menu. It was a nice little mom and pop restaurant. So we thought, Hey, it's going to be good. Mom and pop Italian restaurant. And I hate to call anybody out because I'm not, I'm not negative anyway. I don't want to hurt this man's business in any way, but it took him about a good 45 minutes to bring out uh, Jeremy's burger, which was overcooked and my Reuben, which was one, the, the corned beef that he used, I'm pretty sure it was out of a can. The sauerkraut was sweet, which that's no good in my book. So and he also put it on kraut? a hoagie. What's that? It was sweet kraut? It was sweet sauerkraut. Makes no mm -hmm. sense. So, yeah, sweet kraut. And it just did not taste good. The first bite was bad, but I'm a trooper. I ate half of the sandwich, decided to keep half for later, and it just tore me up. I think I'm – and that was, that was almost a week ago, and I'm just now getting over what it did to my intestines. When we stayed in the room that night, I actually had to I had to go across the street to use the bathroom at the gas station because it was cleaner than than our bathroom in the room after he ate at Papa Louis. It was like a scene from The Walking Dead in the bathroom when I was out of there. <laughs> it was there so there was hands and feet just thrown <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when we left. They came in with a full fire hydrant hose just to wash the whole place down. But uh, George George swore off Papa Louis. Okay, Virginia Brundage spent five dollars. Here we go. Just pull. Up. Virginia Brundage sent five dollars. I hate to ask this on the What the Hell's Live, but Grimes, do you think Pirates going to have a third auction with his recent locker? Ooh, uh, with the military auction teaser. Uh, look, hey, Mike, can, Mike's going to do what he's going to do. And I'm not going to jeopardize how he wants to release things. But I'll tell you is that we've, uh, I, I know uh, a lot about it. And we've, we've discussed some things. I'll, I'll say that. So, so are you going to allow him to include this military locker that he bought in the pirates booty versus the hailstorm? Hey, y'all keep buying good lockers the way you are. We'll keep this thing going till the end of the year. Keep us all fed. How about that? We might have to. Do I get to bring George George in on the team, though? Heck yeah. Anything he buys and send that to? Why, why does – is George George – why does he get on a team before I get on a team? You know, I'm still like the, the redheaded stepchild of this whole thing. I thought you were neutral. You're like Switzerland. I love redheads, so you're good by me. But I want to belong, you know. I want to belong to someone. Like, y'all are the Westicles, the Easticles, and I know I'm going to have to be the Texicles, right? <laughs> oh, Texas, my goodness. Texas. You know, you know, George actually, she created a map and she took the United States and she drew a line right down the middle. Where guess, am I? Guess where you're at? 
Where? You're on the East, baby. See, I knew you it. You are on the East. And let's just be honest. As much as I love them, they're a little bit different, you know. And I love different people. I love I I would hate to be surrounded by people just like me. I love surrounding my people or around like by just different people. That'd be boring. Hey, speaking of pirate though, look at this. Lot one. Oh, nice. Look at the name of the book. Piratology. Hey, I'm going to tell you all right now. Oh, my gosh. How can I compete with that? Yeah, you ain't competing with that. I, know, I didn't even put her up at this exact moment to take the camera away from uh, what you were showing off. Look at this little cutie. Oh, Look at that cute you, little bug. She is so stinking cute, and she's <laughs> the happiest baby in the world. And Mommy makes these. Mommy makes little teethers for for little kids. And this is – it has her name on it. It's got a little elephant. It's got all these balls. Sorry. Sorry, Grimes. Go ahead. Continue. <laughs> Oh, no worries. Hey, so if y'all want this lot, though, I know you're going to have to fight Pirate over it because he wants this. This is a, a Pirateology book. And uh, so I texted a picture to Mike when I found this. And he's like, I got to have it. And I was like, well, it's Jeremy, so it's going in the auction. So lot 178, you're going to have to fight Mike over this. Go bid on it right now. I remember finding that book, but I don't remember what unit it was in. We've got a $5 super chat from James Young. Bam! Uh, James says, shout out from Kentucky, cleaned out 110th locker today. Thank Big you. lot of mint toys and <laughs> ox, ox from the 70s and the 80s. And that's the deal right there. 70s and 80s are so hot. Justin, how hot are those toys right now? Is, is that what sells more than anything else, 70s and 80s toys? Uh, that's definitely, uh, I think the millennials are, they're, you know, they're becoming a majority now, right? And they just don't like that kind of stuff anymore, like the old milk glass and, you know, the stuff that we would call antiques that were real hot, like in the 90s, probably the 80s, and even like the 70s. Uh, now, you, all, all the toy, like the toys, toys, and like even the clothing, man, vintage, like just polo, like the stuff I used to sport to like high school, like the right sweater will fetch you like, Fifteen hundred bucks, you, and that's just wild to me. So yes, Wait, I, how much? Fifteen hundred. <laughs> Do this. Go to Vintage Polo on eBay. Put sweater. Hit sold listings. Filter by highest. Look, the teddy bear is going to be in the the Vintage Polo is like your money, money. But go look at some of those sell for three, four, five thousand dollars. And here I keep giving them away to Goodwill. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen my slobby rock video, I'll never throw clothes away again. Uh, did she do a Papa Louie's? Oh, God. Did she do a Gooey Louie? It's a Gooey Louie. <laughs> Baby George George did a Gooey Louie. Hey, there is, a, there is a bunch of, like, Matchbox lot. Uh, like, this is, like, an 80 uh, – I think this is, like, 80 – 82, maybe? Hi, Sherry. Oh, Thank you. 76. Really? 76. Hey, is there, is there more than one? <laughs> this is a, there's cards in here from the 40s forward. Wow. So this is a great little starter. We've got a lot, I don't know why I'm yelling right now. Loud noises. <laughs> um, anyway, do y'all know what movie that's from? George would know. I can't Anchorman. remember right now. Uh, anyway, but there's a lot of great lots of these. And so make sure to click into the lot and go through all of it and look at all the different cars. So there's some great match, like vintage matchbox. Uh, JK, JK wants to know, George, George, is that baby George, 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 George? George, 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 George. Yes, this is indeed George, 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 George. When does it end? Honestly, it will when never it end. end. As long as I have a say, it will never end. Baby, we have created monsters. The George George, the George George legend will continue on. Okay, anything else, Justin, that you think was really cool from the from the stuff? Oh, I can. There's, there's all kinds of. Stuff. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh, Conky, the, Conky the dummy said the white cage has better matchbox and red lines in it. What's the white case? I don't even know what he's talking about. Uh, keep him busy. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> All right. We're keep ah, there she is. She's got her little skeleton bow. Mommy's trying to feed her. Uh, oh, well, bam. Okay. Jonathan Roseberry just sent $20. 
Hello, Dude. South Carolina. Love watching you all. Thank you so much, Jonathan Roseberry. Bam, bam. There's your fist pump. Appreciate it, Jonathan Roseberry. Thanks for watching and all the love. Send in love. Straight back to you. Oh, is that the one? Yeah, I think this is the one they're referring to, and it's a double case. So you got six sides. Is, uh, so first of all, this is lot 164. So just go to the catalog. You can go to search, and you just put in 164. It'll take you right there. Uh, and then this is a double-sided case. So this side is also full. Wow. So Talk to you, dummy. I do have that uh, Mary lamp for you from the number 13 unit. It's at the warehouse. When I catch up with you, I'll make sure I get that to you at your request. Funko uh, Pop Review just sent a dollar ninety-nine. He wants to know what's up, everyone. Here you go. Here's what's up. Fist pump. There we go. Triple fist pump for Funko Pop Review. Lots of cool things going there. Funko Pops are pretty popular right now, too. Gina, how much do you guys do to sell on the Funko Pops? Oh. I mean, they always sell really well, all the Funko Pops we find. Yeah, just so you, you it know. It depends on which one it is, you know. Hey, one of these things just doesn't belong here. Is that a Fender? Uh, oh, yeah. Is that a Fender 12 string? It feels like it. I think it's a 13 string, Jeremy. They don't make a 12 <laughs> string anymore. I sent you a Fender. Uh, what lot number is this? Uh, but no, this is a great little starter acoustic. Uh, let me find out what lot it is, but it's in really good condition. Oh, I don't remember that. Is, that's not a Fender 12 string. Did I send you guys a Fender 12 string? I don't recall I don't seeing think, one of those. But maybe. Go, hey, go into the search and put in a uh, guitar. It's lot 281. This one is. Oh, wait. We do have two guitars in there. We have two. No, one's a first act. Classic acoustic guitar. Okay. No so 12 string. Lot 281 and lot 347. Well, hey, you are going to have some stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's enough to have a solo auction, but you will have a lot of stuff um, that we will be selling off after your first sale. Actually, we can put it in one. Just to, it'll make it easier for the viewers to watch who wins between you and Pirate. Uh, but like the trunks and stuff, we were filming those later. So there's a lot of good stuff that was in those. Uh, so there, there's a few things back there. We'll see what's back there. George, George, they want to know where your guitar is. I just put it in the chat so you guys can take a look at it. It looks kind of nice. <laughs> you're, you're on it. What What's another item that's getting a lot of bids right now? Uh, Gina's looking right now. I like this. It's just, it's, you know. The Mickey and Minnie is actually one of the highlights. To me, this is just cool. And I, I, I did not clean this for a reason. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. I would keep it just the way it is. Isn't it so cool? Like, man, this would just be cool in a man cave. Like, check this out. Hold on. Or like, knowing me, I'd like try to put the bat symbol right there or something. Because then you can like. Oh. <laughs> Superman rules. Hey, but hey, check this out. This would still be functional. You could like hook this up in your man cave out in your garage or something. Like how this is lot. Uh, 299, lot 299. But. The overall, the case is in really, really good condition. But how cool would this be to hooked up in your house? If you're one of the last people in America that still has a landline. Bye, Sherry. Good night. I don't, I don't even remember which unit that came out of. I think there's actually two of these. I want to say I saw two of these somewhere. Really? I wouldn't doubt it. You know, when you buy, when you buy so often and you buy so much, I can barely remember what I saw yesterday. You know, when you're going on to the next day and the next day and the next day. So, like, when George, George and I talk about the, the unit of cake from. Do I buy this from you? And she'll be like, where is that? I'm like, I, I have no idea. Because employees actually, actually store it in the warehouse. And then it's got to be labeled. And then we have to go through it all. I and mean, it's hard to get all that stuff. Oh, James Young just sent another $2 super chat, which means he gets another $2 fist pump. Bam! Bam! Thank you, James Young. He said he got four G.I. Joes from 1970 in the box, never opened. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Hey, this is like a sleeper lot. I don't know why nobody has bid on this thing yet. 
This is lot seven, but this thing no. is full of these pogs. Yep. The old pogs. Have you seen that the pogs are coming back? Oh, yeah. But this, look, guys, this is 1995. This is like a retail book. It's full of them. Like, it's, this is a heavy box. Like, uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff. So make sure to go in there and click on it and look at all the pictures. But, like, this is a sleeper item. This is killer. 1995. What's it at right now? Uh, I think it's only at a buck. Two dollars. Really? Two dollars. Really? I'd buy it for more than that. Well, here's the deal. Like I just said earlier, like that don't mean nothing because yeah. most people don't bid until closing night. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I always tell everybody: majority of bids of an auction come within the last five minutes of an auction. Hey, you remember these? Rainbow bright. Those are rainbow bright sprites. Man, oh, I I am like not ashamed to admit. It. Like I love these. Like I would probably think of these. These are so nostalgic to me. I'm gonna get in so much trouble if George is watching because she's been looking for those to go with other ones. But you got them. So our <laughs> and there's a little baby. Uh, the little white one is in another. Class. But if you like these, these are from 1983. Uh, if you take uh, attention to their face, these would be really cool. Uh, but that's lot 351. George, George, did George watch Rainbow Bright growing up? Do you remember? Yeah, we all did. Yeah, we definitely all did. So was that one of her favorites? I would imagine so. What else was her favorite? Um, we used to like the Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, she, she always mimicked... Uh, Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Okay, Funko Pop review. AE set a buck ninety nine. What's the other Star Wars item behind Grime? He's asking, what's that other item? Wham! Let me see if I can grab it through the camera. <laughs> it's kind of a. Let me get it. It's a display, kind of a. Here, let me see. I'm full. Can you see it? Funko, yeah, we can kind of see Funko it. Pop, you're being called out. You're not allowed to look at that. Debbie has a claim on it. <laughs> is that Debbie Vaughn? Yeah. Yes, it is. I believe it. I believe it. Debbie's awesome. She's all over the chat, and I love it. Is that a model? Uh, this says it's a display. Huh. I wonder where I got that from. It's a clock, too. And it's a clock. It's a clock. Yes, JK, Animaniacs. That was my personal favorite. Oh, Animaniacs. Yeah. Pinky in the hey, brain. You did have a lot of cool old cars in there. Just ignore that sound of plastic hitting the ground. That's okay. Captain okay. Fumble Nuts knows. I got you. <laughs> so, uh, 380, this Western auto truck. It's got all the wheels. I mean, still rolls. I mean, this is a killer freaking display piece. I'll give you a dollar for that to replace the one that I lost. Let me see what this. Let me see what it's at. See what this is at. Hold a second, Kevin. Kevin just said it's my first time here. Is this just a watch, or can we bid on the items? No, Kevin, you, can, bid. you can bid. There's a link. It's a live auction through Grimes Finds. We sent a 26 foot truck packed front to back, left to right, up to down, and all of these items are being auctioned off. So you can't bid in the chat, but you can click on the auction link in the chat and you can bid on all of these items. Right, but before you're allowed to bid, you have to go to our channels and subscribe. <laughs> George just knocked my guitar down. Did you guys see that? She just knocked the guitar down. That usually happens before a live, not during a live. She looks great. Kelly sending a dollar twenty-three. Very nice. We got we got a dollar a buck twenty-three. We got. A I've never seen that amount. How do you even put out amounts like that? Thank you, Steve Kelly. Appreciate it. Hey, there is Swamp Picker. There is so much vintage like games like is that Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, so we did a good some good lots like so all three of these get actually there's five games I dropped them and I can't quite reach them but there's Mortal Kombat. Uh, Dr. Robotnik's, uh, what's that say? Something machine. Mean, mean yeah, bean machine. Mean bean machine. It's like Tetris. Champions one. And there's like Sonic, but there's, uh, we have Sega in the case. We have NES games. Uh, we have, uh, Nintendo DS packages. You can bid on this package right here with the, uh, games included. Uh, like Rampage. Remember the game Rampage? Oh, Rampage. Yes. Rampage. There's a character Rampage. named George in Rampage. Hey, and, yeah. and this has Paperboy. Do you remember Paperboy? Yep. Oh, wow. Man would try to run out to the street and get you. Yep. 
My, the first time I ever saw Rampage was at the roller rink. Remember when roller rinks were the, the, the bomb.com? Hey, they're coming back. You don't still go? No, roller rinks are coming back up. People, all, all the young not, kids are going back I'm to them. I'm telling you where I've been. I go every Friday night. Mean, That's where I, I saw Rampage the first time, and I have it on the Wii now. I love it. Love I it. I wouldn't be surprised if Disco started making a comeback, too. Oh man, count me. Millennial, millennials are the strangest yeah, creatures. Probably. They think they're discovering all these things for the first time and making them popular. So I would not be surprised. Hey, you know what? I, I bet we did the same thing to the people that grew up in like the 50s and 60s and 70s. Well, they were dancing, you know, like this. So no, the beards are making a comeback too, aren't they? Beards? What? Beards? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm making a comeback. Hey, if things go swimmingly on YouTube for me, you'll see me sporting a beard. You're going to get a beard? I used to have one. When I was a CEO, I had a beard. Really? Yeah, it was a nice one. Hey, y'all should all grow one. Let's all grow one. Well, I can't do anything like your awesome beard. It's like a nice one. Like I got a patch of hair right here. It comes out really long and then a nice little short one right here. It's not bad. I, I, can get, twist like a hurricane, I get a hurricane twister over here and a hurricane twister colic over here. Other than that, I mean, 42 years, I still can't grow a full beard. Good looking Joe Dirt beard over there. Hey, there's some fun, fantastical blue ball jars. And that the, sounds horrible. That what? sounds absolutely horrible. What? We got to fix mystical, that. The mystical blue what? ball. I'm looking for it. Porcelain lid. This one? Yeah, porcelain. No, this is, uh, oh, actually, yeah, inside. Yeah, it is. Yep, aluminum on the outside, porcelain on the inside. <laughs> Hey, seriously, I picked this jar up because, like, I don't know why. I still appreciate this. This is just such a – it's a pretty jar. Like, that's weird, but it's a pretty jar. Yeah, be careful, careful with that blue, that ball blue ball jar. Break it any minute. I know how to handle these blue balls. Get off me. You could, you could bust it at any 13? minute. Is it cursed like Papa Louie's? <laughs> what is Papa Louie's? That's Papa Louie's. That's Papa the first negative review I've ever given is on Papa Louie's. I don't ever do that, and I don't complain. They, they always complain. Oh, me neither. Oh, I'm cool. I'll take it. I worked in the restaurant industry as you know, multi-manager uh, and everything, and I've seen down to where I was a fry cook. I my One of my first jobs was Catfish King when I was 14 years old, and I know what goes on. Oh, but I, place. I don't complain. No, I'll just take the way it is. You know, I, 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 like I, I got my order screwed up. And, you know, sometimes George will be like, well, tell him, tell him. And I'm just like, eh, she doesn't have a problem telling him. She's like, I'm paying for it. I'm doing I like I'll go to the barber. And every time I get home from the barber, she'll she'll be like, well, you know, is it OK? Da, 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 or this or I'll go do this or I'll go do this. She's like, would you just say something? She's like, you're paying for it. Say <laughs> something. I'm like, nah, I'm fine. Yeah. It'll Did be all right. When that dude, Jack, my beard should be about down to here about right now. But I went in like three weeks ago, and the dude said, I said, I want all the link, keep it. And, man, I walked out, it looked like a redneck cholo. He took off four inches of my beard, and now I'm just now getting it back. But I could not leave him a bad review because when he got done and held the mirror up, like, this was what I looked like. But I was like, he's like, well, how do you like it? And I was like, well, I guess I can grow it back, you know. And But I didn't leave him a bad review because he was so proud of the work he did. And I, I catch 22, right? He's not learning if you're not telling him. But he was so proud of it. I didn't have the heart to tell him, you know, complain about it. So I just walked around and looked like a leprechaun for four weeks. <laughs> it works for you, though. <laughs> See, I'd rather walk around like a leprechaun for four weeks and sit on the toilet for four weeks. True. True. <laughs> That's but, true. But you've only been on the toilet for a week, right? That's a week too long. Man, some of the best work I've ever done has been on that toilet. That's the best yeah. super chat <laughs> ever. That's the best super chat ever. <laughs> Redneck, <laughs> redneck, polo, two dollars. I love that it's misspelled too. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> redneck, yolo, yolo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else catch catch your guys' eye in the lots? Everything catches my. Eye. I'd like to see if a subscriber wants to see something. Let's see who can who can comment uh, something first, and whoever the first one is, I'll go get that item and bring it over here. Dolly Dowell said, Jeremy, I have a I have no problem saying something because I'm paying for it. And so I've made some uh I made somebody so mad because every time I had a complaint, I just I can't do that. I think, but here here's the other thing. I think females 
have no problem most majority maybe that maybe i'm wrong whereas males are just like yeah whatever yeah what i'm always a little embarrassed that? to complain about food but one thing i can't stand is when i ask for a uh, medium rare steak and it comes well done that's something i can't i will not waste a steak so i mean, so I mean it will go to waste and then go this isn't done the way i wanted it really, it. hey but it really one. does think about this it really does go to waste because they throw it away yeah, well, I'm thinking one of them eats it in the back. I'm usually sure that that's what's going on. But it's funny how they'll bring it out to you, that's ask true, you to uh, cut it in front of them, and ask they'll ask you if it's okay. So right. they must know that that's they get true. that a lot. That's a hey, that you get. Hey, you paid for it, right? You just yeah, ask yeah. You paid for and, it. I mean, the steaks we get are not cheap. They're 20, 25, 30 bucks. I'm not. Yeah, I can't. I can't sit there and. I like my steak saliva, though. So I just yeah, eat. yeah. <laughs> I like to hear the gunshot in the back before they bring it out to me. We <laughs> had, hey, we did have a request for a lot 23, and Gina's grabbing it right now. It is a 1968 Hasbro Mickey Mouse gumball machine. Oh, oh you know, really? Where's the other Mickey Mouse? It's so did you cool. just say it's a 68? Yes. Are there any gumballs in it? No, if it works. No, if oh, there were. I remember. I was, I'd do a Dare Me Jeremy. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. But, um, I remember that. I remember that. I don't remember what unit it came out of, but I remember I remember filming it with George. Oh, I should have told you before you sit down. June June Lunenberger wants to know what happened to the Santa sleigh. Was that one of the items in the Was that one of the items in the auction, George George? Uh, I don't know. A sled? According yeah, yeah, the Santa sleigh. Santa sleigh. June Lunenberger said she saw it somewhere. I have to look for her chat now. I'll have to look. Y'all put me on the spot. I don't know. I know where some uh, blow, blown mold uh, Christmas uh, decor is. Yeah, that's Chinatown in Mansfield. The best steak, really. I'll have to check that out next time I go up to visit Jeremy and George. Hey, check this out. <coughs> that's this too is, cool. Oh, is, is that a lot, bank? It's lot 203. No, look. Oh, it's a pool toy. It's a 1973... <laughs> Thank you for coming to the show. <laughs> it's the bourbon beard over there. I think so. No, yeah. Huh? I know. No, I know that. Feminine Cholo, voice. That's not the bourbon beard. I know that feminine voice anywhere. It's me, Mickey Mouse. Oh. Hey, look. Oh, God, it's he's got a cold. Works, How cool is that? Work. You see that, George? It still <laughs> works. Hey, and this still has the original patina on it. We'll call it patina. Uh, but I didn't clean this up because some people like to seriously like me. I like, if I find this, I want it just like this on the shelf. Some people want to clean it. Uh, so anyway, that's one of the reasons why certain items, we sell it the way that we find it, because that might be the way you want to display it. Anthony Rosenberry said, are there any fishing rods? Did we send any fishing rods? Yeah, with you? There is some fishing rods. Lot 1,001. Lot 1,001. Really? Like four fishing rods. Yeah, there's four fishing yeah. rods. Oh man, too bad they didn't come to your auction the other day. You could have got a lot of fishing rods. Yeah, we sold like a hundred of them. Did you? Yeah, for like a dollar a piece or something like that. Yeah, oh my goodness, hey. it hurt. It hurt. It was way too cheap. Still, hey, I'm selling a wart, y'all. Like it's gonna sell. Yeah. <laughs> What's your wart up to? It's like at three bucks. No way. Is it? I think it's at three, isn't it? Somebody's gonna oh. use it to spread disease somewhere. My old glasses are at six bucks. That's stupid. That's crazy. But my war, it's got a bid. That's too cool. Can can you sort in your auction and find out what the highest priced item is right now? Yes, we can. Hold on, I'll tell you. The highest price that we already looked at it. It's the Boy Scout patches. Oh, the Boy Scout patches. Yeah. Oh, those are at oh, 210 they've gone bucks. $50 since we started the live. Yeah. So, uh, lot 59, yeah, it's gone up. So, somebody in here is bidding on them, but they're up to, uh, it's up to $210. Like I said, I suspect that that lot right there to go up to a good five, 600 bucks. Well, yeah, I don't doubt it for that. Patches are so collectible, too. They're like almost everything is collectible anymore. Well, and yeah, you, for the right person, for sure. You have to take like uh, the future into consideration too, right? When you're when you're buying collectibles, right? Like, what does the future look like for that? Is there going to be a market for it? And I think because of the, I want uh, the arousal is probably not the right word, but like because of the whole Boy Scout thing, right? And the politics yeah. and 
and just all the emotions about it. And it's probably not going to be around much longer. And so people are, there's still a large generation of young men who like that was their entire childhood. And so that's why those things still hold their value. Part-time picker just asked, how are you going to deliver a wart? (laughs) Well, I'm thinking it has to go into one of those little freezer packs. Is that? I don't think you can. I think that's considered biohazard. Is that biohazard? No, it's not. Are you keeping it on ice right now? It's, I'm pretty it's sure. like coughing into a bag when you're sick and trying to sell it to somebody. No, I just had it right here. Wait, wait, like- hold a second, George. George, I I specifically remember in unit number 13, <laughs> you taking something and not coughing in it, but going Papa Louie in it, sealing it, and saying, go sell this, Jeremy. <laughs> There's a pink egg out there that's going to be a a nasty surprise one day. (laughs) You got a rotten egg in that unit. Uh, Carla Ross said, what would a -a one-of-a-kind 1964 Beatles bikini scarf be worth? It looks like burlap has a leather strap. I can't find anyone anywhere to know how to price it. Uh, Carla, try worthpoint.com. W-W-dot-worth, W-O-R-T-H, point, P-O-I-N-T dot com and see if you can find it there. All right. Send me a picture to grimesfinds at gmail.com. Send me a picture. I'll try to get I'll try to give you a value of it. Okay. All right. As we're as we're uh, wrapping things up here tonight, we've got George George helping us out. George George, any closing any closing things you want to share with the audience tonight? For anybody that's in here that's not subscribed, go check it out. Go check out the channel. Go subscribe. He's going to go ahead and make a comment right now. And on that comment, you guys can actually click on those three dots and you can just subscribe right from there. Always make sure you hit the bell, all notifications, so that you know when your favorite YouTubers put a video out or they go live. Crimes Finds, what do we need to know? I just released this information today on our channel. Uh, So I'm going to do, look. I like to do things like I like to, you know, when I did cage fighting, I did it just because I was like, man, I want to do things that not a lot of people do, you know, like running marathons and things like that. So I picked another thing I want to do that not a lot of people have done. And I'm going to do that. It's going to be at 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to spend 24 hours, 24 hours in a, not in a band, in a storage unit. And so it'll be a two or three video series and I'm going to go live from inside the storage unit, but I will spend 24 hours solid in a storage unit. By Wait, yourself? Are you going to survive just what's in the storage unit? Not taking no, anything? Here's the deal. I get to take a grocery cart and this will be a video and I get to only pick stuff that's up here at the Grimes Finds auction house to survive in the unit. So I no only get food. You can't put any food in that grocery cart. You got to live off of the food that's in there, disgusting Justin. Hey, but you I have to share it with the, the trash pandas. Grab that mailbox. <laughs> hey, check this out. I had a subscriber send me MREs, two MREs. I think that's what I get to survive on, right? Didn't I send you some MREs? Yes, yours were from 1968, and they almost killed one of my staff members when we did it. <laughs> oh, his stomach's just not strong enough. Hey, but check it out. I'm going to open this on our channel this week, but I knew it was sending me some MRE, so let's find out what I'll be eating when I lock myself in a storage facility for 24 hours when we hit 10,000 subscribers. All right. Thanks again for being here tonight. We're going to sing a little song. If you are bidding on the hailstorm, type a one in the comments. Right, right one over in the comments. If you're if you're bidding on the hailstorm auction, type one. If you're bidding on the hailstorm, type one in the comments. In the comments. If you're bidding on the hailstorm, and what rhymes with storm? George, George. Oh, Norm. well, I just said something that was not appropriate. <laughs> what was that, George, George? Norm, dorm. Dorm, norm. Dorn. Because you're not exactly no. the norm. If you're bidding on the hailstorm, type one in the comments. If you're bidding on Justin's wart, type two in the comments. Yeah, what we'll a W for that one. Okay, W. Put a W instead. If you're bidding on Justin's wart, pop two in the comments. Get on my wart. If you're bidding on Justin's wart, what rhymes with wart, George George? It'll Schwart. make you want to snort. Schwart. 
Because it's a little short. If you're bidding on Justin for Tap a W in the comments. Minnesota Sasquatch. There we go. There's a brave, there's a brave squash. Tuning in tonight. Sending lots of love. All to you. Blow your kisses. We'll see you at the next storage unit. Right, Justin? That's right, That's brother. Right. right, George George? Yes, sir. Good night. Night.